from today we will start new series on BrickCAD. BrickCAD is cost effective alternative to AutoCAD. It is cheaper than AutoCAD. In BrickCAD, perpetual licenses are also available. That means once you purchased, you can use it for a lifetime. If you want to download the trial version or purchase it, a link is given in the description. Let's start with the BrickCAD tutorial. When you start BrickCAD, first time it will display this dialog box. They have provided different profiles for 2D drawing, 3D modeling, for BIM and mechanical. So at first we will select this drafting profile. Select the drafting profile. Then you can give name to it. Whatever may be your desired name. Suppose I will make it 2D drawing. And click on OK. Then that profile will be added to your set of current profiles. When you will start BrickCAD second time, it will start in this dialog. That means you have already created profiles. In this case, you will have to select your desired profile and then click on new drawing. And if you want that this dialog box should not be shown again, then you can click here. Don't show this window again. Then it will not show this window and it will directly start BrickCAD. We have selected this 2D drawing. Then to start a new drawing, click on this new drawing. It will start BrickCAD. Common basic commands are given here like new, open, save, save as and print. Then other set of commands are arranged in this ribbon bar. Like this is basic draw commands, modify commands, then layer and blocks. If you know how to use AutoCAD then you can use BrickCAD very easily. At first we will learn how to create a line. Here is the line command. You can also use keyboard shortcut. For line keyboard shortcut is L enter. You can also give L enter to create the line. I will click on this line command. Line. Then here it will show the message for the next step. Here is specifying start of line from where you want to start the line. Suppose I want to start line from here. I will click there. Then take your cursor away. Suppose I want to create a horizontal line. So it is automatically going horizontal. Then give the direction. In which direction you want to go. Suppose I want to go in this direction. And give the length. Suppose I want to go by length of 200. Enter. Then I want to go up. Take your cursor above. And give the length of suppose 150. Suppose again I want to go on the left side. Give the length. Suppose again 220. While creating line if you make some mistake and if you want to cancel this line then here are the options. You can directly undo from here. Just click on this undo. It will cancel the last line. Again suppose I want to create this line of 200 length. You can also choose this option from keyboard. To choose this option from keyboard you will have to type the capital letter from that particular option. Suppose if you want to give undo then you will have to type U enter. The next option is this close option. Using this close you can connect the start point and end point and it will stop the line command. Click on close. So it has connected to the start point and line command is completed. When in this white bar nothing is shown that means your command is completed. And if you want to remove these objects we can use the erase command. Keyboard shortcut for erase is E, enter, erase. Then select the object you want to erase. Click on the object, those will be selected. Once you have selected all the object, then you have to press enter. All the object will be erased. And if you want to create inclined line in particular angle, then again I will give line command by typing L, enter. Then give the first point. Then give the length. Suppose my length is 150. Then to give the angle you will have to press the tab button on the keyboard. Press tab. Then you will have to specify the angle. You will have to specify the angle from x axis. That means this complete angle is 180 degree 0 to 180 degree. And below also 0 to 180 degree. 
that means from x you will have to specify the angle suppose i want to go by 30 degree on this side so give the 30 enter then take your cursor above so it is automatically tracking at 90 degree to the previous line again you will have to give the length suppose the length is 100 if you want to change this angle then again you will have to press the tab otherwise you can press enter to create line in 120 degree press enter it will create line in 120 degree again take your cursor on this side suppose from this horizontal line i want to come down by 30 degree i will have to specify angle from this x axis this horizontal line is at 180 degree and i want to come down by 30 degree that means the required angle will be 180 minus 30 that is 150 degree you can bring that 150 degree while taking your cursor down it will automatically show you the 150 degree then give the length suppose the length is 150 enter and from here you can close the object to erase you can give e enter and select the object you want to erase press enter suppose i have one line here Take the line command, give the first point, press the second point, enter to stop the command. You can press enter to repeat the command. Give the first point, give the second point, enter again, enter to repeat the command. When you take your cursor near the endpoint of this line, it will show the endpoint entity snap. If you click there, it will automatically start line from that endpoint to this endpoint if you take your cursor at the midpoint of the line it will automatically show the midpoint entity snap click there endpoint endpoint now here it is showing me the midpoint but i want to create this line perpendicular to this line and i don't want this midpoint then to choose the different entity snap you will have to press shift and right click and choose the desired snap i want snap to perpendicular click on this snap to perpendicular and then click on this line to stop the line command in between press enter it will stop the line if you want to create circle here is the circle command for circle you can also give c enter click on circle then specify the center point for the circle i will take the center point at this midpoint then give the radius, I want the radius of 40, enter. Again circle, give the center point and give the radius, suppose 50, enter. As we have seen for line it is showing end point, mid point. Same way it will show for circle the center point automatically. Take the line command, take your cursor near, it is showing the center point. Now it is showing this intersection point. Now suppose if I want to catch this quadrant, you can either press shift and right click and choose the quadrant from here or you can make it on for permanent to make it on you will have to right click on this e snap and from here you have to choose quadrant so it will show it automatically so you don't have to pick it every time manually enter again enter for to repeat the line command from this end point Suppose I want to create this line tangent to this circle. Now again it is showing quadrant. I want tangent. To choose the tangent you will again have to press shift and right click and choose snap to tangent. And then click on the circle. It will create line tangent to that circle. Press enter to stop the line command. If you make any mistake and you want to cancel the last command, then from here you can undo it. Click on the undo. It will cancel the last command. If you have done undo by mistake and you want to bring back the object, then you will have to click on redo. So it will again bring back the object that has been undone. But you will have to do it immediately if you perform some action. After undo then it will not redo it. To save this drawing you will have to click on this save. Then choose the folder where you want to save and give the name to the drawing. Suppose I will give it to drawing 2 and click on save. 
so that drawing will be saved by that name then to close this drawing click on this x it will close the this current drawing and to start a new drawing again click on file new it will start new drawing and if you want to open the drawing just we have created click on open button here and choose the drawing and click on open that's all thanks for watching we will stop here